Hello students, welcome to our today's online class. Uh, this is Hussain Mohammad Khan. Today is the first math class of 2021. I hope all of you are excellent by the grace of Almighty Allah. Today we are going to learn about uh, arithmetic chapter 2, ratio and proportion. Alright, let's begin. So what is proportion or ratio what is ratio in your previous level of education that means in class 6 you already know that what is ratio simply a ratio can, uh, is a fraction where we can write uh, two numbers with a column say uh, 3 is to 5 so this is a ratio right so this was ratio of two numbers but in this class that means in class 7 we will know about multiple quantities or ratio of multiple quantities that means there are more than two ratios that means uh, if there are another ratio that means 3 is to 5 is to 2 or maybe more 3 is to 5 is to 2 is to 7 for, for example so this kind of multiple ratio we will uh, discuss today so let's begin uh, you can open your math book page number uh, 20 you can open uh, page number 20 from your math book like uh, in our daily life, we face various types of uh, problems and we can easily solve all these problems using the concept and explanation of ratio and proportion. So students should have learned concept of ratio and proportion as they must acquire the skill of their application also. Similarly, we can across a large scale of transactions and its related loss and profit in our daily life. So profit loss maths we also will do in the later part of our uh, <coughs> class or in next classes upcoming classes so today we just start from ratio of multiple expression and successive ratio in page number 20 uh, from the middle you can see uh, here 2.1 ratio of multiple expressions and successive ratio so at first ratio of multiple expression what is what does it mean let us suppose the length breadth and height of a box are 8 centimeter 5 centimeter and 6 centimeter suppose there is a box where length is 8 centimeter and breadth is 5 centimeter and the height is 6 centimeter so it's a three-dimensional figure so the ratio of length breadth and height is equal to 8 is to 5 is to 6 that means if we say for just example length is equal to L is to breadth is equal to B is to height is equal to H we can write 8 is to 5 is to 6 so these ratios are more than two quantities so there are three quantities 8 5 and 6 so this is ratio of multiple expressions now we move on to next uh, topic successive ratio what is successive ratio here there is an example suppose the ratio of ages of son and father is 15 is to 41 son's age is to father's age is equal to 15 is to 41 and again the ratio of ages of father and grandfather father and grandfather is equal to 41 is to 65 so here you can see uh, in the first ratio, we write uh, son and father, and the second ratio, we write father and grandfather. And the common number is here 41 and 41. This is the age of father, right? So, this 41 is common in both uh, ratios. Now, we can write the successive ratio as son is to father 
is to grandfather all these are h so grandfather we can write 15 is to 41 is to 65 so this at the ratio of three uh, persons here we make these two ratios into one common ratios with this common number 41 so this is called successive ratio all right okay uh, let's see another example where we can actually do a calculation example number one first question of your uh, example number one we have to make this uh, two ratios 7 is to 5 and 8 is to 9 into one successive ratio uh, what we really can do we have to multiply uh, the first ratio by the antecedent of the second ratio that means if we multiply 7 and 5 by 8 so we just write 7 is to 5 and then we multiply both uh, 7 uh, and 5 by 8 that means the antecedent of the second ratio 8 so 7 times 8 is equal to uh, sorry 7 times 8 is to 5 times 8 so it becomes 56 is to 40 now the second ratio uh, is given as 8 is to 9 and we have to multiply this 8 is to 9 by the subsequent of the first ratio that means 5 so if we make a multiplication of 5 by 8 and 9 so we will get 40 is to 45 now you see 56 is to 40 and 40 is to 45 so 40 is the common ratio in both ratios so we if we just write the successive ratio like the successive ratio becomes 56 is to 40 is to 45 all right so this is how we can make any two ratios into one successive ratio this is called successive ratio and uh, you can practice a lot uh, under this example there is activity so this four questions uh, you can here as you can see activity number one two three four this will be your homework for today just you can uh, write like this the two ratios and multiply the first ratio with the antecedent of the second ratio and then you multiply the second ratios with the subsequent of the first ratio. This is how you can convert into successive ratio. Now we move on to our next uh, topic, proportion. What is proportion? Here is an example in your textbook, page number 21. Suppose Shohak bought a packet of chips with a taka 10 and 1 kg salt with uh, taka 25 from a shop here the ratio of the prices of salt and chips will be 25 is to 10 or if we reduce uh, say 25 is to 10 and if we reduce these two quantities by 5 we'll get 5 is to 2 another one again there are 70 students in a class of shohak and there are 50 boys and 20 girls so the ratio of these two quantities 50 boys and 20 girls so if we reduce this by 10 we will get 5 is to 2 so you see both in both examples their value uh, becomes 5 is to 2 and here 5 is to 2 so the first two quantities we, uh, we wrote 25 is to 10 and 50 is to 20 the values are same so we can write 25 is to 10 is equal to 50 is to 20 so these four quantities together makes these four quantities together makes proportion we say these four quantities are proportional so in these four quantities some are okay let's say there are four four quantities so we can write uh, first quantity
or anyone okay not both only one either this equal symbol or this double colon symbol so this is the rule of three here is an example uh, you can see in page number 22 we know first quantity times fourth quantity is equal to second quantity times third quantity that means if you are given three quantities 9 18 and 20 respectively so you can find the fourth quantity the fourth quantity will be a multiple of second and third and then divide the first quantity so you can easily find the fourth quantity so this is uh, why it is called uh, rule of three that means if you know the value of three quantity you can easily find the last quantity or fourth quantity now we move on to next page page number 23 of your textbook i hope you um, you already have your textbooks in front of you and you can uh, see example number two and three here determine the fourth proportional fourth proportional or fourth quantities are same thing uh, first second and third this three quantity already given you have to find the fourth quantity so at first you write we know that first quantity times fourth quantity is equal to second quantity times third quantity and then uh, put all these value first quantity equal to three fourth quantity you have to find and then you put value of second and third quantity and now if you just uh, uh, divide this three on the other side because if there is a multiple in the left side if you want to uh, uh, want to divide both sides by three then uh, you have to divide both sides not a single side and you will get the answer as 14 so if you calculate here the answer will be 14. example number three you can see uh, the third quantity are for eight seven and 14 so you have to find the third quantity so you put the value of first and then fourth and then uh, second and you have to find the third quantity from here so third quantity you have to divide by seven on the both sides and you will get 16 as the answer i hope uh, you can uh, do this math by your own uh, and activity of this a and b will be your homework all right now we move on to our uh, next uh, topic which is uh, continued proportion you open page number 24 and you'll see there is written uh, the continued proportion what is continued proportion suppose we can uh, form two ratios 5 is to 10 and 10 is to 20 5 is to 10 and there is another ratio 10 is to 20 so both these values are same so we can write here equal and if we make it here like a 5 by 10 is equal to 10 by 20 so both these values are equal right say there is a quantity a is to b is equal to b is to c so what we uh, can write here a divided by is equal to b divided by c now if we multiply both sides uh, by cross multiplication if we multiply a by c and b by b so we'll get uh, a times c is equal to b square right or we can write b squared is equal to a c now this is our uh, continued proportion condition if the mid quantity b uh, if the marginal quantity a and c are given then we easily find the mid quantity b squared right so let's see an example example number four if first and third quantities of a continued proportion are 4 and 16 determine the mid proportional or the continued proportional so here the first marginal quantities are 4 and 16 the mid quantity is square so what is the mid quantity mid quantity b will be the square root of a times c right so this is the mid quantities formula so root over a times c a is 4 and c is 16 and you know root over 4 is equal to 2 and root over 16 is equal to 4 and the answer will be 8 <clears throat> all right now it is time to give you some homework uh, let's uh, open page number uh, 27 and your homework will be for this class your hw will be number one number two number three 
and number four. All right. I hope you understand these maths, and uh, if you practice the examples, you also can do the exercises and your homework. And okay, that's all from today. And until next class, it is goodbye from.